everyone should have one of these in their workshop. You can probably tell by looking at it, this is a first aid kit because safety is cool. This is going to be a quick video. We're just going to show you how I set mine up and what I've got in it. And that's pretty much going to be it. So let's get right into it. All right, for my first aid kit in here, uh, the box I use just an old vintage uh, tackle box. And it's the perfect size for what I need. Inside, I have some band-aids, the regular band-aids that we're all familiar with. And I've got some knuckle and finger wrapping band-aids here. So most of what I'm gonna be coming in here for is uh, little cuts and scrapes and burns and things on my fingers. So I'm gonna have a good bit of those. I got some Neosporin for the uh, first aid antibiotic. I had some cloth tape. I have a set of tweezers for pulling out splinters. I've got a pair of scissors for cutting the cloth tape and also some of the other gauze and stuff I have in here, which I will show you. See, I've got some gauze pads here. I have a big bandage roll and I've got rolled gauze in case I have to wrap up a finger, something like that. I can use my cloth tape and that, tape it up real good. And I've also got some uh, Bactine for uh, you know killing germs and all that kind of stuff. You don't want anything to get infected. Um, and that's what I've got in mind for the most part. If this isn't all inclusive and I might add and take things away as time goes on, if you've got something in yours that I don't have in mind, then leave a comment below, let me know, and maybe I'll add it in. Um, the other thing I'll show you is just me, um, I, everyone that comes into your workshop, they should be able to look at this and tell that it's a first aid kit. So I put two of the first aid symbols on here and I'll just show you real quick how I did that. These are just two wreath hangers that I actually bent to hold the box. And it's like 10 bucks, maybe, I don't know. All right, and that's pretty much it. I've got it hung up. It's right where everyone can see it. Everyone can tell it's a first aid kit. It's on my door, so it's never gonna be blocked by anything because I have to get in and out. So there's never gonna be anything in the way. Um, if you're observant, you notice there's one thing outside of the first aid kit and on the inside, and that is my tourniquet. If you're not familiar with the tourniquet, a tourniquet is a medical device used for stopping life-threatening bleeding. Um, if you're really curious, you can YouTube, Google how it works. This is a cat tourniquet. Um, I'm not gonna give a whole class on it right now, but my tourniquet's on the outside, right here on a little hook, because if I need a tourniquet, I need a tourniquet very fast. So it's hanging right here. I can grab it. I'm not gonna have to go digging through my first aid kit if I'm bleeding out. Um, this isn't a whole hospital. There's medical supplies I don't have in here and that's okay, I've got more stuff in my house. This is a basic first aid kit for my workshop. Um, that's all that I needed. So if you have more ideas for stuff I should put in here, then leave a comment below, let me know, maybe I'll add it in. If you don't have one in your workshop or your house, you need to get one. Uh, I'm Papa, this is Papa Builds, and today Papa built a first aid kit. So thank you for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed the video.